Hello and welcome back to another installment of Book Fetter. And for today's video, we are talking about Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Yes, it's been a hot minute since I recorded one of these videos, but we have a new brilliance event, and I thought this was as good a time as any to jump back in here. We have the Circus Calamitous Part One, which starts today. It's Tuesday, and uh, it's after 11, barely, but it is after 11 a.m. my local time so this has officially begun and what i want to do is i want to let you know what you're going to need to do in order to fulfill the four requirements and then you're going to have a bonus requirement after that if you want additional goodies but for part one dine at three ends super super easy it's going to give you 25 brilliant xp return three brilliant graph horns at 25 xp as well that's going to net you like one one rune stone plus 10 towards the next rune stone and then brew two healing potions so make sure that you jump on that remember those do take like two hours each so you're going to be stuck there for just a little bit make sure that you are using your uh your mixing notes what are the master notes in order to speed up those times for part two you're going to defeat five foes in wizarding challenges those are towers take out five of those use three healing potions so you're brewing two but you're going to use three so if you don't have a stockpile of them already make sure that you add an additional one onto that and then earn 500 wizarding xp from challenges now one of the newer updates to the game is challenges will show you exactly what all your rewards are going to be so keep that in mind if you need to know how much do i need to battle it depends on what level your profession is and things of that nature so keep that in mind moving on to part three cast aloha mora 10 times is going to give you one silver key return five brilliant zuwu is, is that right zuwu um and then unlock three port key portmanteaus we do have brilliant port keys they're going to be 3k remember they if you have them already ready and waiting they're not going to count you actually have to walk these off and then for part four defeat 10 formidable foes in challenges okay that one's a little more rng centric earn 50 1500 wizarding xp from challenges and use three brilliant rune stones the the second part of that was actually changed it was win at the highest level you've ever completed in the tower they did go ahead and make that change to just earning 1500 wizarding xp so it's the first like one and three the odd numbers are going to be like exploration type things and then two and four are going to be tower type things that will complete out your brilliant event and um you're going to get, uh, it looks like, two fragments, if I'm doing just a quick glance over this. But we'll, we'll look into those a little more detail here in just a second. But that way you know from March 10th until March 17th. And just so that you know where everything can be found, how to complete your registry, you are going to have the House Elf. You're going to need three of them in Wizarding Challenges. And you're going to need those rune stones for those. Skinder the Ringmaster, you're going to need five of those. Those are going to be out of Brilliant Port Keys. Oni is going to be finished out of tasks. So the four challenges, the four tasks that we already discussed. The Fire Breather, again, tasks on that. The Brilliant Zuwu is going to be a Brilliant Encounter. You're going to need 15 of those. And then the Brilliant Graphorn, you're going to need 15 of those. That is also going to be spawning in the wild. As always, the Brilliant Port Keys are 3K. And if you have a Brilliant Port Key, you can't stockpile these. So if you finish the Port Keys and you want to stockpile them for Part 2, you can't because Part 1 Port Keys will always give you Part 1 rewards, even if you wait until Part 2 to open them like i said there is a bonus assignment at the end of this so if you want and you need to get that done make sure that um, you hustle through these first few it is actually a rainy day here in southern california and then finally uh, you're gonna get a free store pack with wormwood pro potion ingredient two ditney potion ingredients and 25 spell energy make sure you claim your free gift from the store just one word of caution because this has actually come up on consecutive brilliant events now for for somebody that's i know i'm not gonna call them i'm not gonna call them out but 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 um if you finish task four and you do all the requirements you actually have to hit the claim button before the event expires and if you don't then you're going to have a missing fragment in your registry that um like i said that's happened on back-to-back -back events where i want to say it was something like on the last one that we just had end, 
you had to brew potions. Well, the last potion was started, so that completed the task, but the claim button was not hit. And so the person I'm referencing has a white spot in their registry. And then the one before that was um, something like brew a potion overnight, I think, instead of use a potion. So this person brewed a potion overnight. It, all, both of them were done in the morning. But when they logged into the game, um, they, they weren't able. They logged in after the event started and they weren't able to hit claim. And so they have a second bright white spot on the registry just make sure that you are claiming those i i wish that it wasn't that way if you complete it you complete it you should be able to claim it no matter what just the same way that if you haven't finished walking off all of the port keys and received all those fragments you can continue to walk off port keys after the event has ended and it'll fulfill those fragments if you finish the brilliant event you should be able to hit claim whenever you want you shouldn't have to do it during the event but um that's in the past so make sure you keep that in mind enjoy this brilliant event um if it lets up on the rain i'm going to actually head out and try to get a, a head start on this typically i wait till the weekend and just try to knock out as much as possible but um if the rain lets up then uh, i may get out and try to do a little bit of damage on this today that's all i've got for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one mm -hmm.